All right, let's go ahead and get it rocking. So thank you all for being here today. Hopefully this is your first Zoom meeting of the day. All right, some of you are working from home, maybe studying from home. So I know you might have some meetings later. You should know though that this is the meeting that you control. So I want you to go at your own pace, kind of do your thing, have some fun. Today we're going through a low impact workout. So this workout is kind of meant for someone who's in an apartment and has somebody below them so they can't jump a lot. It's also meant for anybody with joint pain. We're not gonna be doing a lot of jumping or anything like that. Just some body weight calisthenics to get a good burn going, help tone the body. I'm gonna get right into this warm up with a simple pivot and reach. So you can go ahead and start with me, feet nice and wide. We're gonna pivot the left foot, reach the left arm, twist as far as you can, and then go ahead and switch. Each of the exercises that we go through, we'll be running through for about 40 seconds for this half hour workout. Continue right through here. You got about 30 more seconds. So big, deep breath. You want to inhale as we move, belly button up and in, big reach as you exhale. Keep the other arm nice and straight as it swings behind you. All right, make sure you're fully rotating that ankle, big push through your arm and back. You have about 10 more seconds here. All right, this next part of the warm up, going through the half moon stretch. So feet are nice and wide. We're gonna go ahead and push those hips back until you get to the ground. Once you're there, inhale to one side, exhale once you get there. Inhale as you go to the other side and big exhale as you get there. You should feel a nice hamstring stretch coming up the back of your legs. As you do this, pretend to tilt the back of your legs up to the sky like you're trying to point the back of the hamstrings up to the sky. Arching your lower back, get about 20 more seconds here. Nice and easy through this warm up. Just letting the body know we're getting geared up for a good workout. All right, about 10 seconds. Keep crawling back and forth. All right. Right from there, we're going to go into up and over. So we're going to take the right leg, bring it over your left, stand up really tall, squeezing your leg, bring your right arm up, push your left arm down, creating a half moon, feel the stretch, go from the lat into the oblique, and then switch. Left leg over right, left arm up, push right arm down. Let the neck hang, feel that nice stretch, come all the way from under the armpit into the front side of the oblique. If you feel this go into your lower back, you need to engage your core by pulling the belly button in and tucking your pelvis. You have about 20 more seconds here. Keep using breathing to move. So we inhale and then exhale when you get where you want to go. Inhale to move and then big exhale. All right, right from that, we're going to go into the pause squat. So feet are just wider than the hips and shoulders, toes are pointed out, hands at center. Go ahead, down into your squat. We're gonna pause for three, two, one, and then stand up tall, right back down. Pause, three, two, one. Make sure you're driving the hips back as you drive your knees out. Keep your feet planted in the ground, and then up, squeeze the legs. Down, three, two, one. Right back down, three, two, one, here we go. 25 seconds left. You can go at my pace or go at your own pace. Three, two, one. Just make sure you're driving those hips back and driving those knees out. About 10 seconds here. Let's get one more good rep. Down. Three, two, and then up. All right, to continue the warm up for the legs going into the lateral lunge. So feet are very wide here, toes are pointed out, arms are out as a counterweight. We're gonna drive the hips back, keeping one leg nice and straight, sink back into the opposite heel, stand up to center, and then down. We go 40 seconds. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you push the foot in the ground to stand up. Inhale down, big exhale up. Give about 25 seconds. 
we go. Let's stretch out those inner thighs, get those legs nice and warm. Go as deep as you can by driving the hips back, sitting low into that lunge. Go ahead and even out your body. But one more each side. All right, last part of the warm up here. We're gonna go into shoulder rotations. I'm just gonna get a little closer to the camera. We're gonna put the arms up. You're gonna tilt the right arm up to the sky, looking to the right as you turn the left thumb all the way down. From there, we're gonna switch. So we look to the left, rotate the left arm up, and the right thumb down. Go ahead, back and forth, keeping your arms nice and long, pushing your arms away from your body. As you rotate up and down, you're engaging your rotator cuffs. Keep those arms nice and tight. Squeeze the muscles in your arms. We call this irradiation. So squeezing all the way from the arms to your core, down to your legs, and back. You have about 10 more seconds to roll through this. Big, deep breaths as you go through. All right, that concludes the warm up. We're gonna get into the base of the workout now. So this workout today, we're gonna to do three exercises for 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. We're gonna do those three exercises three times through. So we're gonna start with the squat and pivot. So for the squat pivot, we go right into that pause squat position, down, we're gonna pivot and then reach. Ready, 40 seconds, set, and go. We're gonna alternate, going back and forth between sides here. Go nice and deep into that squat as you inhale down and big exhale up. Here we go. About 30 seconds left. Keep driving those hips back, drive those knees out so your glutes can fall right down to the ankles. Go as deep as you can and then explode up by pushing your feet into the ground as you exhale. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Right from there, we're gonna warm up the core and shoulders. We're gonna get down on the ground in the second exercise. In a plank position on your hands, we're going into shoulder taps. We're gonna come up, right hand, left shoulder, touch, and then switch. Now make sure your hands are beneath your chest and your hips are level, you don't wanna look like this. So hips level, legs tight, reach up, touch the opposite shoulder and switch. 40 seconds, here we go. Big deep breaths, keep those legs tight, try not to let the hips rotate. Try to keep them nice and square to the ground. Push all of the toes into the ground, from the big toe to the pinky toe, and keep those legs nice and tight to aid in your core stability. About 15 seconds left. Nice and controlled. Don't slam the ground. You don't want to wake anyone who might be sleeping downstairs. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna turn on to the back side, get into the third exercise. So for this, we bring the feet all the way underneath the knees, going into hip bridges. We're gonna slightly tuck the pelvis by pushing the back to the ground, hip bridge up, squeeze the legs, and then down with control, 40 seconds on the clock, let's hit it. So as soon as you tap the ground with your lower back and your glutes, come up hard by pushing your feet into the ground. When you reach the top, squeeze your legs as tight as you can. So not only your glutes, but your quads, your hamstrings, everything underneath. Big deep breaths. We got about 15 more seconds. Keep trying to drive those hips high. Soon as you touch the ground, push the feet in the floor and go up hard with control. Five, four, three, two, and here we go. Come on down. All right. Big deep breaths. You got 20 seconds of downtime. We're going to go through those three exercises two more times. So starting again with the squat and pivot. Down into your squat, stand up 
and pivot. We'll begin in five, four, three, two. Here we go. Hips back, knees up, and up. If you can, try to keep my pace. You'll really get the heart rate up here as you breathe through. Make sure you get full rotation on that pivot as the leg locks out to twist and reach. You got about 10 seconds left. Here we go. Push it. Chest up tall, shoulders back. One more squat. All right, right from that, we're going back into those shoulder taps. Now, if you want to make that a little more difficult, we'll take it from your hands down to a plank position on your forearms. We bring the arm up to the side and then switch. You can begin this harder version if you'd like or continue right back with shoulder taps. 40 seconds on the clock, let's do it. I'm doing that harder variation here, keeping the arms narrow, feet kind of wide, hips are level with the shoulders, and we're not letting those hips turn. Keep the legs tight, core tight. Here we go, 15 seconds. I'm gonna go back to that easier version just to show you again. Shoulder tap. Five more seconds. And just even yourself up. Excellent. Right from there, onto your backside. Again, going into hip bridges. We're just going to make it a little spicy this time by popping those toes up. So we call this a heels in, toes up hip bridge. Flex your toes toward your knees. Only the heels are on the ground. Hip bridge up. Squeeze down and then right back up. 40 seconds on the clock. Again, keep those toes flexed up. You'll feel the muscle in the front of the shin flexing away. That's your anterior tibialis. This muscle, when it's strong, can protect you from getting shin splints. So if you're a runner, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Here we go. Big deep breaths through. You got about 15 seconds. Every time the lower back or glutes hit, push right into the ground. And go back up nice and hard. Five. Four, three, two, all right. Standing right back up, going through that circuit one more time. You got about 10 to 15 seconds more rest here. Use it wisely. Long inhale through your nose, big exhale through your mouth. All right, as we begin, going right back into that squat and pivot. 40 seconds and go. Hips back, knees up, go. Try to get at least 20 reps. In this 40 second period, bust them out. As always, make sure you're not feeling this in your back, your knees. You're feeling this in the muscles through the legs. Here we go, about 12 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, excellent. All right, going back into those shoulder taps. Again, if you want to do that more difficult version, you're going to go into that NFL plank. All right, so we're on the ground. Arms are narrow, feet are wide. Shoulder tap, up, touch the opposite shoulder and switch. Or go down to that more difficult version. Here we go, 40 seconds. Up, touch, and switch. Keep the belly button up and in. Keep your neck nice and long, so chin tucked. Keep the body pushed away from the ground. With those hips nice and even. You got about 15 seconds. Here we go, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, all right, right onto that back side. Going into our last version of hip bridge here, we're gonna do a frog hip bridge. So push the bottoms of your feet together, tucking them in as close as you can to your body. 
Keep the knees down, almost like a butterfly stretch. From there, tuck your pelvis. Push your hips up, push your heels together as you squeeze, and then down with control. Don't be afraid to readjust and kind of keep pulling those feet toward you. As we go up, we push the heels together, keeping the knees low, squeezing the top part of the glutes. That's your glute medius up there. It's right next to your pant line. Really helps to shape the area from your lower back into those glutes. I'm gonna run through for about 15 more seconds. Get some extra reps here. Again, keep pushing those feet together at the top, breathing through each rep. One more. All right. We're gonna move on to our next three exercise circuit that we're gonna go through three times. We're gonna start with the easiest variation of the first exercise. That's our reverse lunge. So standing up nice and tall, we're gonna step back, stand up to center, and then switch. Keep the chest proud. Make sure the front shin is pretty much vertical as you drive through the front heel. Control your movement on the way back. You should not hear the back foot hit the ground. You want that impact to be soft so that most of the weight is in that front leg. So again, don't slam the ground, touch it nice and soft, all the weight's in the front leg, and continue through. We've got about 15 more seconds here if you've been following me through. Just keep taking long, deep breaths, keep those shoulders back as we alternate through these reps. And I go about six more seconds, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Next, we're gonna turn this into a movement called the reverse jump. So for this, we're gonna stand up really tall on your tippy toes, as high as you can. So if I turn the side, you can see that there. Arms are straight. You're gonna come down explosively into your squat and then right back up. Up, 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 stand high on those tippy toes, explode down, pushing the hips back, throwing the arms down. 40 seconds, let's do it. Up, down hard. Up, down hard. Make sure you're pushing those hips back to go down, pausing at the top to catch that stability. Here we go, we're about halfway through this one. Up, nice and tall, squeeze. Down hard as you exhale. Inhale up, down hard. Up, down hard. Let's go seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. All right, this third exercise in our circuit, we're gonna get down into bicycle kicks. So you're on your backside. We're gonna get into a V up hold position, hands behind your head, alternate from one side, to the other. Hold for about two seconds each side. Ready? Begin. 40 seconds. Inhale as you move. Exhale when you get there during that hold. Keep your chest up high. Keep your leg nice and long, nice and tight. Squeeze the leg as it extends from your body. And keep breathing through. You've got about 15 seconds left. Keep squeezing your abs throughout the move. Keep them nice and tight. Don't let them relax. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, 20 seconds off. As we transition right to the beginning of that circuit again. So we're gonna move right into that reverse lunge. This time, if you wanna make it more difficult, we're gonna add a high knee. So we step back into the reverse lunge, high knee kick and switch. Go ahead and begin. 40 seconds. Step back, high knee kick, and then switch. Again, making sure the front heel stays down, balance for just a moment at the top, and then switch. Now as you're balancing, you want to squeeze the leg you're standing on. You got about 20 more seconds. Focus on control, not really quantity here.
about five more seconds. Just even your body out there. All right. Now going down right into that second exercise again. This one's the reverse jump. So we get high on those toes again. Really tall and then down hard by sending those hips back so you're in the glutes and in the heels. Straight arms the whole time. Tall chest, shoulders proud. Continue through. Let's rip it up. Got about 35 more seconds. Up on those tippy toes, balance, down hard. Up, down hard. Let's work to get that heart rate up. Let's burn some fat. Everyone knows we've been hanging out, sitting down too much. It's not your fault, but you control this movement right here, right now. Let's make it count. Five, four, three, two, good. All right, shake that one out. Going right back on the ground for those bicycle kicks. Long, deep breaths as we transition. You got 40 seconds of kicks to do. Starting 10. Nine, eight, seven. Assume your V up hold position. Ready, set, go. We turn, hold one, two, switch, switch. Keep the leg nice and long. Keep the abs squeezed tight. Don't get lazy. Here we go, crew. You got 20 seconds left, halfway through this one, let it burn. As long as it's not moving into your lower back of your hips, let those abs burn. How much can you take? Six, five, four, three, two, finish there. All right, getting right back up, hitting that through one more time. Let's go right into that reverse lunge, high knee. So down and back, up, Hold it and then switch. Again, if you're having trouble with these, you could just work on the step in balance, but otherwise continue through for those reverse lunges. This is your last set of these here. Let's make them burn. Here we go. Keep the chest up, right? Those shoulders are back. Always keep that chin up as best you can so the airway is nice and open as you breathe in and out. Here we go, about 15 seconds here. Nice high kick as we come up and switch. Let's go five, four, three, two. All right, again, going into those reverse jumps. I'm gonna give you a little less than 20 seconds off on this one. Whenever you feel ready, go ahead and start with me. We go up on those tippy toes. Explode down, up, explode down. Pull yourself into the ground hard. Keep your arms very straight. Keep those shoulders tucked back as you whip yourself down to the ground into those heels. Last set of these here. Use them to really get that heart rate up. Here we go, about 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two. All right, last set of those bicycle kicks. Let's get it done. On your backside. A couple big deep breaths. Just catch it really quick. Ready. Hands behind your head, legs out. Go with me a little early if you can. Twist, hold one, two. Twist, hold one, two. Keep the chest up as tall as you can. Drive that elbow toward that knee. Keep those elbows wide so the body has to turn nice and big. More than halfway. You got about 15 seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Awesome. All right, go ahead and stand up. We're gonna get into our last circuit of the day. Again, three exercises, we're gonna try to get through them three times. 
all of them for about 40 seconds. This first one is a squat jack. So we go out, down into your squat, touch the ground, up to center, and then switch. Now, be very soft with your landing. Try not to create a lot of impact. 20 seconds on the clock, let's do it. I'm sorry, 40 seconds on the clock. And now you've got about 20 left. Halfway through, come up to center on the toes, out into those heels and down. Keep the chest up tall, just like our normal squat. Here we go, 10 seconds left. Keep driving those hips back, knees out. Last one. All right, for core, we're gonna get right on the ground, going into those side planks. We're gonna hold this for about 20 seconds each side. So legs are long, stacked on top of each other. Your bottom elbow is tucked underneath. Get those hips up and hold. Nice long body. If you wanna make it a little more challenging, you can pull that top leg up. 20 seconds total, you got about 15 left. Keep that neck nice and long. Belly button is in, legs are tight. Here we go, about five, four, three, two. Bring it down, we're gonna switch sides. So turn around or flip over. Legs are straight, toes are flexed toward you, feet are stacked, arms underneath the shoulder. We go up and hold. Belly button in, legs nice and long and tight. Neck long, top shoulder back. Keep driving those hips up. Halfway through. We're gonna go about 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it down, heading right into mountain climbers. All right, 40 seconds. So we're in that plank position, arms are wide, feet are narrow on this. You wanna pull one knee in, but not in front of the hip. Don't pull further than that, and then switch. Be nice and soft on those toes. Do not impact the ground too hard. So keep those arms tight against the ground. Here we go. Running through for full 40 seconds. You have about 30 seconds left here. Keep the belly button up and in. Keep pushing those hands into the ground. Twelve seconds left. Let's do it. Ten, nine, four, three, two. Gonna come right up. Going right back into those squat jacks. So again, feet are together for that. Long, deep breath. I'm gonna give you about ten more seconds off. All right, we jump out into the squat, down, and switch. Ready? Go. 40 seconds of work, let's do it. Keep driving the butt back into your heels. Knees out, chest up. 30 seconds. Nice job, crew. Keep breathing through. Be soft on those landings. Shouldn't really hear your impact too much. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, ooh, I'm feeling it to you. Here we go, side plank, 20 seconds each side. Let's get right into it, leg straight, arm under your shoulder, and up. Keep driving those hips up, keep the head nice and long. Five, four, three, two, switch. All right, again, legs nice and long, one arm underneath, hips up, and breathe through. Keep that whole body tight, so the arms tight, core tight, legs nice and tight. Halfway through the side. Three. 
three, two, start to bring it down. Last one of this circuit going into those mountain climbers. So arms are straight, feet are narrow, arms are wide, pull one knee in and switch. Let's go right into it. Really push it toward the end of this workout. Full 40 seconds of mountain climbers. You got about 25 seconds left. Keep the core nice and tight. Arms pushed into the ground. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right. Gonna come right up. We're gonna try to get through that circuit one more time. All right, so again, finish this last set through. seconds or so. Four, three, two. All right, side plank, 20 seconds each side. Let's do it. Legs straight, hips up, shoulder back, and breathe. Halfway. Four, three, two, all right, other side. 20 seconds, side plank, hips up, shoulder back, big deep breaths. We're gonna keep those legs nice and tight, head long, 10 seconds left. Three, two, all right, last set of mountain climbers here. 40 seconds on the clock. Arms are wide, feet are narrow, hips are tucked. Ready? And go. Be nice and soft on your toes. Not too much impact as you breathe through. 30 seconds left. Last set of the day here. Let's do it. Halfway through it. Belly button are in, abs are tight, arms are tight. 10, seven, six, five, four, three, two, done. Make sure you cool yourself down, get some water, get some food.